Hi, this is uh, Siva. Uh, I am here to give you the uh, give you the training on the manual testing, or otherwise it is uh, called as a functional testing uh, in uh, normal words in the software industry. So uh, we will cover here the. I will be sharing the syllabus with you in quite some time after my introduction of my profile, etc. So we will. Uh, going through what are the concepts of manual testing how testing is performed in real it and it and uh, what are the different different form of testing or what are the different types of testing and uh, we will also go through the uh, we will also go through that uh, software development life cycles or software how software has been developed and how it goes through the testing and how it goes through the production we will see you will go through the life cycle uh, we will go through all the aspects one by one i will be showing you the syllabus which we will be covering so first let me introduce myself my name is uh, siva chidambaram uh, natrajan i am uh, associated test manager or uh, test architect and i'm working as a test architect as well as i have 12 plus years of experience uh, in software testing um, both manual and i worked in automation as well so currently i'm working with the cgi uh, so i am one, responsible for one of the product delivery in cgi and uh, there are some eight to eight people working under me so i have a vast experience in manual testing and i have worked uh, in the estimations and etc uh, when a new project comes or for a maintenance i worked in estimations i worked in qa activities and i work as a test architect also for automation projects so this is about myself so before before we go into the deep into uh, what is uh, testing or our syllabus so most many projects fail like uh, before uh, before there was a, this, this is a history of software testing actually until 1956 uh, software testing is just called debugging debugging is now one of the concepts in uh, development activity so there was no testing and 1957 to 1958 there is only positive testing like whether it is working correctly like if you are giving username and password a valid username and a valid password and clicking on login page it is logging or not that is a testing before so then it uh, evolved the testing evolved and there are many books about testing and they are started negative testing as well there are uh, yeah there there are like different types of testing evolved and why, so why this all software testing evolved it's like why software testing so previously it was like the developer himself was doing the testing so the developer uh, who has developed the product or developed the project or developed the application whatever he will never find a bug on his own code like uh, he will see he will compare it with the requirement document he thinks like all the requirement document has been satisfied so right now if you see in many companies the developer thinks that there is no bug in his application then how it fails in uat how it fails in testing so the developer himself thinks that he has developed everything so this see wherever the testing fails these are the few examples where testing has failed miserably and uh, there has been a, uh, a huge cost involved in that see recently there was a bank haste in bangladesh which costed 81 million the robbers have robbers have uh, did a, a ba online banking hacking and they transferred a huge junk of money from all the deposits and uh, that was a big news actually there is a famous facebook hack like someone has hacked the facebook ceo's account and they have posted some uh, some nonsense in that this was this hawaii sent false missile alert like hawaii there is a country called hawaii they have sent a false missile alert and many people many people went into the bunkers uh, the, because thinking like it is a real alert and it lasted for 30 minutes so it is a big big uh, problem for a nation's uh, 
for nation itself so these are the most more vulnerable things on testing like if you would have seen apple maps apple maps is a complete failure apple maps apple has introduced in their iphones they had their own maps instead of google maps and it was a big failure it it took some people to the dead end roads as well so they stopped the apple maps and they removed the apple maps so these are the some of the main important things important we need for testing this conference will now be recorded so this is this is a main uh, main advantage of testing like if you do a testing properly you can avoid a major miserables in the later period like after the after the product went into production or after the product has been uh, after the product has gone to UAT testing, a testing which is left in the initial stage or the testing which is where the bug which is left in the testing cycle, the cost of fixing the bug is very less compared to the bug which has been fixed in during the UAT or during after the production. See, for example, we also work in a project. So that project has involved like if if there is many requirement there is many specifications so any one of the specification is missed out or it has been implemented wrongly there is a huge fine involved in that so our company or our project pays that huge fine one every now and then because if we miss anything so there are more more fine or more cost or more human resources involved if uh, bug is been missed out and it has been found in uat or in a production which will cost more than which when when it is caught in during the testing cycle this conference will now so, be recorded so this is what i was talking about why testing is essential see one thing is like a customer satisfaction a customer will be satisfied if the testing has been done in a proper way and there are no bugs you will get a repeated business if a customer is satisfied with the product which is a bug free product you will get the repeated business and uh, that will help your organization or your project to grow and which i talked earlier like it saves a lot of money a testing a bug which is found at the testing phase or the initial phase so now they are making the testing uh, they are uh, after this uh, scrum and uh, uh, agile methodology is the testing is being getting involved where during the requirement cycle itself so which is going to reduce more and more cost and which is going to reduce more and more uh, time and uh, where the bugs will be will be found out very well before the testing phase itself so this is a new things which are emerging in project because because people are seeing the uh, seen the effect of testing being introduced very well before the before the testing cycle itself so they are finding new new methodologies to introduce the testing in very well advance in the project development phase itself so which will save money and security is very vulnerable in many cases like if we are working in a very secured projects like a banking application or something if security is a compromise that will cost a lot of money which is a uh, and of course quality quality is a main motive of any testing so so here i have given an example as well like it is somewhere connected to a performance testing or uh, which can be done through manual testing as well see for example you have a mobile app you are installing the mobile app first of all when your installation itself takes more time you will not be that much interested to install that app and if you install that app and you're opening that app if the app takes long time to load each and every time the user nowadays the customers or the users are becoming more impatient uh, there are more capacity rams so 4g 5g so customers are becoming more impatient so they don't want to wait so each time when they are clicking the app if the app is taking long time to load itself obviously he will uninstall in one or two days so these are the more uh importance of testing so now we will see our course syllabus so uh, i have given you overview first itself like uh, let us see again like uh, testing is a critical phase for software development life cycle uh, 
so manual testing is a process like you document the test cases like uh, requirements in other words it is called you can take any format like excel or word or whichever you like uh, mostly most commonly used test cases document or excel and uh, and many companies use word word document as well so it is a defects main purpose of manual testing is defects are identified and it is isolated and it is raised and it is fixed and it's the main purpose of manual testing is a defect free software to the customer uh, so so however it requires a necessary knowledge so we have to know the different types of testing there are different types of testing involved and and let me say before that something like uh, there is a something people say like manual testing will not uh, last long automation testing is the next future now even they are saying that automation testing is also in not the next future like uh, after the introduction of artificial intelligence etc so let me make it one thing clear to with my experience and i am i myself is doing some uh, some work on artificial intelligence and how it is going to affect testing etc machine learning etc so let me say one thing manual testing is the one even automation testing can go off and introductions of previously it was qtp now it was selenium there are many tools evolving now it is bdd cucumber etc so uh, the thing is like whatever even automation testing there will be changes or that is also not going to vanish there will be changes and you should be upgraded with new technology manual testing can be never eliminated or can be never stopped from a uh, from any organization or for any project if it is a critical project see for example a manual testing mainly involves in the domain knowledge see for example automation testing takes lot of time lot of effort lot of planning framework etc etc so for example there is a release today uh, i mean there is there is a new requirement today there is a new requirement project so the development the srs and everything is finalized the people will start doing the development activity when the people is doing the development activity of an application they are developing the application so for automation testing the application should be present so without the application you cannot automate they say like you can automate everything no we cannot automate 100 percent or in a better way so automation application is required so once the developer is developing the application now after this agile the development is happening in phases like developer one will develop one module developer two will develop different module etc etc will happen so so the development is also fast not like before like the development is very like phase by phase it goes no development is very fast so the application will be ready fast so model one is be ready maybe model two is not ready model three is ready you cannot automate it you cannot if you start the automation immediately also you cannot complete in that fast it will take lot of time and effort so in that case only manual testing so automation always happens minus one or minus two what i mean is like release this release is release number 10 autumn you can automate the application of my nine or release eight which itself will take lot of time so it cannot be automated for 10 so for the 10th release only manual testing will help to release the project so and once the module one is ready the manual tester knows the manual testing knows and he will start the testing very fast and he will at least he will start writing the test cases and he will plan for the testing and uh, when the full module is ready he can start the uh, start the manual testing or uh, he can start the testing and raise the issues so only manual testing is on the correct current testing like for this release immediately you have to start a uh, manual testing so automation testing is mainly used for regression i am not saying like we should not learn automation testing but you cannot say like manual testing can be avoidable manual testing can never be avoidable you have to do manual testing and automation testing is mainly used for regression regression purpose like from one to nine all the uh, releases has happened in a better way for doing that you can do a regression testing usual using automation testing but most important thing is manual testing for the current release so so this i wanted to say you like uh, and 
a manual tester with the domain knowledge to my in my experience i am saying can never be awarded in a company and never can be uh, never can be omitted from a testing uh, from, omitted from the project so main the main uh, strength of a manual tester is he should have a sufficient domain knowledge and or he should develop the domain knowledge so that he can survive in the software industry so so our course objective will be this what is testing what is a software development model i will give you a small introduction like how the software development model how it got evolved from waterfall method to the agile methodology now the software development model then uh, there will be futures of software development method and here our course will start major concepts of testing and uh, what will be the different approaches for testing and uh, what is the concept of testing is like uh, what is black box testing white box testing approaches of testing and types of testing will be smoke testing exploratory testing which we will go through uh, in the coming coming uh, presentation then and how to create a test plan i can see i can show you a real time test plan how it's been created and you can also try to create your own test plan for small projects like maybe flipkart or gmail you can create a test plan and try it and how to execute the test plan and how to manage a defect there are different types of defect uh, new open uh, fixed closed etc etc so what are the different types of defects and how to manage test cases then and how to do the bug tracking system yes that again talks about defects this talks about the test cases and how defect profiles and this like how bug has been tracked in real time and uh, and i can show you a sample test end report or how the testing is reported and there are many now like uh, tools has come like qc that uh, Q, QTP has a QC where you can track the test report or you can keep the test report there itself you can give the closer document as well so the prerequisites or target audience are like you have to have a basic knowledge of computer for knowing the testing uh, it is better to have an internet connection or you have to have an internet connection and uh, it is mainly focused for the beginners who want to start their career in software testing field so if you are already a tester you can refresh your testing uh, techniques basics etc and if you are a fresher you have uh, just passed out from the college and you are looking forward for a, a career in testing then uh, this this training will be quite useful for you this conference will now be recorded so and if you are a uh, uh, if you want to have if you're interested for a career in it and if you hate programming or you don't want to go into programming and you find difficult to go into programming you can concentrate on manual testing which will which will very easily give you a opportunity to go into the it industry and uh, if you're working in some other field or if you're working and you want to come into it if you're working as a lecturer or something i have many friends and uh, colleagues who has worked on lecturers and they have come into uh, they want to come into IT and uh, they have chosen testing because it is a bit easier than the other development or other activities to start your IT career. And if from your testing also, if you wanted to move into development, you can learn something. Uh, once you once you once you come into an IT field, you can move around, and it's a good career opportunity to start with. So here we will see like module one. We will see like software testing introduction. So here we will cover like what is testing, what is importance of testing, what will be the roles and responsibilities of a tester, and uh, principles of software testing, and uh, how much testing we have to do, and the difference between manual and automation testing, which I have given a little bit introduction of what is the difference between manual and automation testing. We will we will speak about it a little bit more. Then module two we will cover about software development lifecycle and what are the different types of software uh, sdlc they call it as different types of software development life cycle like uh, what are what are the methods they have in software development life cycle this is this is more important to you have to know what is a what is a software development life cycle and we'll cover like what are the module 3 will cover like software testing methodologies 
what are the different methods software testing methods and uh, module 4 we can cover like test case design techniques i can show you a real time test case how it is being developed i can show you in both excel and word and uh, and we can we can discuss about what are these informal reviews walkthroughs and everything and uh, this this we won't be covering anything detail this is just for your uh, understanding what are the diamond st statement coverage these are basically comes into white box testing we can just go through what is this testing it is good to know like what what is this testing called like uh, how is this the testing be done this is most of the companies and big companies been mostly done by and maybe in small companies as well mostly done by developers it comes into white box testing because uh, how they do is they do through code reviews like one developer number one will develop this code and developer number two will be reviewing the code and he will be commenting on the code and he will uh, he will find out if there is some loop missing or some condition so we will just go through what is this uh, that's all and this is our main thing which comes in manual testing manual testing or they we call just black box testing so we will see this so this decision table table we will see at the last and cost effective program this three we will see at the last because it needs a little uh, more uh, time or more things to be explained and uh, this is experience based testing all these things we will see it and these are the levels of testing so these are the different types of testing also you can say this so unit testing integration testing we will go through the detail in what this each testing are and these are non functional testing which we will not be covering under manual testing most of the non functionality testing is been done by tools like uh, performance testing you would have heard about load runner or j unit which is a free tool so these most of the testings are done by tools or there will be a separate uh, tester for this which are which are not uh, like comes under our manual testing syllabus and yeah of course we can cover this what is this compatibility testing security testing cookies testing we can we can see these what are all these but this performance testing doesn't doesn't come under this so these things are what are all these testings but normal a manual tester will not be used for doing this testing a separate team will be sitting for this for doing this then we will go through the life cycle how testing life cycle so previously we i have said you about what is a software development life cycle this we will be covering about the testing life cycle what is a testing life cycle and i can show you in jira as well how the how the issue has been raised and how you close your testing and i can show you a sample test summary report but this test summary report differs from company to company every company will not have a same format and it is a simple document how many issues found how much is this test matrix test matrix i can show you what is a test matrix and this test matrix uh, format will be different for different different companies you need not bother much about there will be in big companies there will be a separate uh, sqa team or qa team which will be doing the test matrix you just you want to give the data to them but we will see how the test matrix looks and how you have to enter the data in that but the analysis and everything has been done from the qa team and if it is a small company they most probably will not have a qa team and they don't do this test matrix if a big company they will have a separate qa team for uh, cmma level they will go for you would have heard like cmma level 5 company level 3 company etc so this qa team they will have for those kind of companies they will have a separate team for this and uh, what is quality assurance and what is quality control we will see that and uh, we will also see a real time project uh, or i can show you my project itself like how we are doing testing and uh, that it may be different for different companies but it will be the overall the concept will be same for almost all the companies so real time projects like uh, how will collect the requirement specification i can show you a real requirement specification document and a step by step procedure for testing the project and i can show you the test plan etc so at the end of the course you should be able to understand a complete cycle of manual testing how manual testing is been performed in companies and uh, 
students also can create a live project if their career aspect is or uh, career uh, they wanted to grow their career or they want to start their career in the testing they can have their live project itself in testing or in quality assurance so that they can go easily into the testing field so guys this is the overall things we will be covering and uh, we will be covering one by one from this course objective so 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 this is overall about a testing like uh, why manual testing and uh, so what we have covered is what is manual testing why manual testing is required for in a company and uh, is manual testing will be absurd in the future or is manual testing that much important in a company we have discussed that yeah manual testing is very much important and uh, automation testing cannot cover every aspect what manual testers are doing and what is important for a manual tester is like he has to have a good domain knowledge and uh, he should know the, all the testing techniques and uh, he should be an uncompromisable person like uh, what i meant to say is if you are a manual tester the developers or even your project managers will try to bully you or uh, they will try to uh, make you make you like uh, to close the issue so that the release can go smoothly because each release going uh, going to the customer involves money so the project manager even can push you like uh, please close this issue and this is not a issue and mostly it comes from the developer the developer uh, will obviously say that this is not mentioned in the requirement specification and you have to close the issue and it goes to the big argument so you should be an uncompromisable person for your quality is important and uh, and as a tester you should be never ever be like uh, uh, you are uh, you are little inferior person you are less than a developer it is not like that a developer code can be easily found out from the google and he can also copy paste but a tester is helping the project is is directly involved in the revenue of the project that is what many companies give testers and this is what you could have seen in many companies like the testers on site opportunities are more than the developers because the testers are more vulnerable for a company because if the tester misses the bug because the testers are more involved in the money part actually the tester misses the bug money is involved if he gives a good quality yeah almost the company will be in profitable so the testers are more vulnerable for a company and he he helps for the project success so you should if you are directly involved in the money part and if you are directly involved in a customer satisfaction so you should not be you should be always an uncompromisable person you should never bend for any uh, any external pressure you should be straightforward yes this is a bug i will not close it unless it is fixed or we should discuss with the product owner or the product owner has to approve it saying like this release can go without this bug if it is a critical or we will discuss about that bug life cycle later if it is a critical or if the severity is more so uh, so we will start one by one about this for, for this course objective